Hello everyone, welcome in this new tutorial how to make a LED toggle using STM32 Discovery Kit. So let's have a look at the hardware present in the board. Basically the board contains two light emitting diodes, a green one and a blue one. A two push button, a user push button and a reset push button. Uh, it contains also all the pinout connection in order to make the microcontroller more simple to interface with uh, external circuits and finally it contains uh, an embedded debugger called ST-Link to make the debug procedure more simple and efficient before starting let's have a look at the component needed in this tutorial First thing to have is the STM32F0 discovery firmware package. It contains the standard library provided by ST. Uh, it contains also the, the template and several examples about the different peripherals in the microcontroller. Uh, we must have also the STM32F0 Discovery Kit user manual which contains all schematics uh, present in the board and uh, also we must have the the STM 32F0 reference manual which contain all needed information about the different peripherals in the microcontroller like for example uh, general purpose input output uh, or um, timers analog to digital converter etc. So finally we may need the uh, ST-Link USB driver since the board is connected through a USB cable uh, the integrated development environment which is the Qo IDE and finally the GCC ARM compiler so the first thing to do is start by installing the GCC compiler Finally, don't forget to check the add path to environment to avoid uh, adding it uh, manually. So we're done with installing the compiler. Then we install the the integrated development environment. So once the the IDE and the compiler are installed, we open the Co IDE. Then we go on project, select toolchain path, and click on browse, and go find exactly where the compiler is uh, installed. In our case. Um, C program files then new tool arm embedded then we choose the bin folder click on OK OK now we create a new project go again on project new project then we choose the location of our project in our case we can use the desktop we can create a new folder which is called led toggle 
then we call the project same thing let toggle so as we see here we have a list with different provider of microcontroller as we're using an STM32 we choose uh, ST then STM32 F0 in order to know which microcontroller we are using we refer to the uh, STM32 discovery user manual which telling us we are using an STM32 F05 1R8 we click on STM32 F05 1R8 and we are done click on finish as we see here we have um, a list with the uh, common boot peripheral so in order to make uh, the project work we need at least the core file boot file and the peripheral we may need in our project which are the RCC and the GPIO so we can notice that the, the files are added or removed depending on, on the checkbox well, whether it's check it or not for example we can add the i square c or simply remove it so once uh, the project file are present we can compile the project so as you can notice the, the build is failed and uh, this is due to the startup file which contains uh, several error so in order to correct that we must change the file extension which is um, as we see an assembly file and not a C file so in order to change uh, its extension right click on it go on properties then choose edit and click on file open the CMC boot folder in the project and open startup folder right click on the startup file which contain the, the .c extension rename it and simply change the extension to .s confirm then simply open it click on ok and ok and when rebuilding the project we can notice that um, there is no uh, error and the build uh, is successful